in your tabletop, begin to move your hips in one direction, big circles with your hips, Just beginning to breathe in and out through your nose, breathing into the lungs, let's go ahead and switch directions of the circle, so other direction with the hips, big long circles, just beginning to breathe, beginning to feel into your body, beginning to connect down into the fingers, into the hands. And breathing, moving, continuing to go in the circles with your hips, getting deep into the hips, bringing it back to the heels, good. And then moving into some cat-cow, you can inhale, lift the chest, exhale, round the spine, and just continue. Inhale, pull the heart through and up, lift the chest, and then exhale, round the back, feel the stretch in the spine. And continue, breathing, lifting, inhale. Good. And exhale, rounding the back. And inhale, lift the chest, draw the heart through and up, and exhale, round the back. And stretch out the wrists, take the tops of the hands on the floor, fingers pointing towards you, and just gently sink the weight back, getting a nice stretch to the hands. And then let's bring the palms on the floor, fingers towards you, stretch out the wrist the other way. And bring the hands normal underneath the shoulders. Go ahead and curl the toes and lift back into your downward facing dog. So first down dog of the day. Make contact with all ten fingers into the floor. And if you'd like, you can bend one knee, bend the other knee. Kind of stretch out the low back, stretch out the calves and the Achilles tendons. And then feeling that long length all the way up to the sit bones. Long spine. Feel that line of energy from your sit bones all the way down to the heels. And let's slowly walk your hands back to the feet, coming into a forward fold, back of the mat. And just staying in your forward fold, take a big breath, and exhale, let it out. Just let your head hang heavy to the floor. Take a slight bend in the knees if you need to, if you'd like. And go ahead and drop down into your malasana. So bring the feet as wide as the mat, toes point out 45 degrees. And then drop the butt down, bring the hands to the heart. Press your inner thighs away with your elbows. Take some big breaths in through the nose. And exhale it out. And a couple more. Good. And if you'd like, you can drop one knee to the floor, stretch out the balls of the feet. Kind of shift side to side, stretch out the balls of the feet, stretch the toes. Mm -hmm. Good. And then walk your way back to your down dog, walk the hands forward, and then find your strong, long down dog here. Good. Reconnect hands to floor, long spine. And just feel yourself strong, long arms, strong body, strong core. Go ahead and lift the heels or roll yourself to your plank push-up position. And then shift forward, come all the way down to the floor onto your belly. And then take your forearms on the floor, elbows underneath the shoulders into your sphinx pose. And draw the heart forward towards the wall in front of you. Using your hands to grip the floor, draw the heart forward and up lengthening the spine, and then make sure you're breathing all the way down into your belly, just expanding the lungs in all directions. A couple more breaths here in your sphinx. If your back feels good and you have a pretty open back, you can straighten the arms. And go ahead and bring the hands back underneath the shoulders. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, lower the chest back down. And a few times, use your breath to inhale, press up. And exhaling lower down. Maybe one more time. Inhale, lift up. You look over one shoulder, look over the other shoulder. Kind of a modified upward facing dog here. And lowering the chest back down. And this time lift to your tabletop, back into your down dog. Lift the hips back up. Take a big breath in your down dog. And exhale, let it out. 
Good. Next inhale, right leg in the sky. And then step your right foot behind your right wrist. Drop your left knee to the floor. And just stretch. Drop the forearms down to the floor. If you can't bring the both forearms down, just bring your left forearm down, left elbow to the floor. And keep your right hand on the floor. So modify, just stretch here in this low lunge, runner's lunge. And just breathe into the hips, breathe into where it's tight. And come on to the hands. If, you, if you'd like, you can curl the left toes, straighten the left leg, and then reach the right fingertips to the sky into a twist. If you need to, you can keep the left knee on the floor. Modify if you need to. And then breathe here in your twist. Good. And if you'd like, you can step into your flip dog. So your right foot's going to come to the floor around the left foot. Good. And then we all meet back into your down dog. Unflip or step back from your twist. Good. Other side, left leg in the sky. And then step your left foot behind your left wrist. Drop the right knee to the floor. Good. Bring your right elbow first, then your left elbow if it goes down. And just hang out, chill here in your stretch. And breathe into your body, breathe into the hips. Just inhaling, exhaling, just relaxing here into your stretch. Go ahead and come on to the hands. If you did on the other side, curl the right toes, lift the right knee, straighten the leg, and then twist fully. Reach your left arm to the sky. And then breathe here into your body. Long line. You can step over the foot into your flip dog if you did on the other side. Mm -hmm. Breathing wherever you are. If you're in your twist, you can stay there. If you're in your flip dog, enjoy the flip dog. And then come back into your down dog on flip. Good. Walk the feet in about a foot and separate the feet to the outsides of the mat. And we're going to twist. Take your right hand to the outer left ankle. Good. If you can't reach the ankle, bring the feet in more towards the left, towards the hands. And use that arm to help pull the chest through. Breathe. Twist. Good. Breathing here, relax the head. Nice big twist of the torso. And let's take the other side. So right hand goes back in front. This time left hand reaches, grabbing the right ankle. And breathing here. Big breaths. Twisting, drawing the chest through. Maybe look underneath that right armpit. Good. Bring the hands back forward. Either step or hop into your malasana. Your, your squat, prayer squat. This time bring the hands to your heart. Really use your elbows to press the knees away. Try to get a long spine. Long back. Good. And bring the hands to the floor. Straighten the legs. Come to a forward fold. Go ahead and interlace the hands behind the back and open up the chest and shoulders. If this hurts the shoulders, just stay in your forward fold. If it feels good, go ahead and do so. And then shake out the head, relax, let it hang heavy. And just hang out here in your fold. And bring the hands slowly back down to the floor. Good. Come all the way to stand on a big breath in. And exhale, bring the hands to the heart. Good. Inhale, reach the arms high. Good. Exhale, let's forward fold down to the floor. Good. Flat back, inhale. Step or float back, plank pose, chaturanga. Inhale, up dog, or take your low cobra. And then back into your down dog. Good. Lift your right leg in the sky. And bend the knee. Open the hip. Get a nice stretch through that right side ribs. 
nice long spine here. Just breathe into the side body. Good. And let's step your right foot behind your right wrist. Twist. Reach your right arm to the sky like we did earlier. Bring the right hand back down and then come into your high crescent lunge. So we're on the ball of the left foot. Sink deep, long spine here. Reach high to the sky with the arms. Then drop your left knee to the floor. Drive your left hip forward into a deeper lunge. Lengthening the, the spine, long breathing. Bring your hands to your heart and let's twist into a revolve lunge. The left elbow comes to the outer right thigh. And with your breath, you can exhale, twist a bit more. If you'd like, you can curl the left toes and straighten the left leg as an option. Good. You can always just stay on that left knee wherever you are. Begin to breathe. Good. Dropping the left knee back down to the floor. Inhale. Reach the arms to the sky. Exhale. Hands to floor. Step back. Plank pose. Chaturanga. Inhale. Up dog. And down dog. We'll meet there. And when you're ready, take your other side. Left leg lifts in the sky. Bend the knee. Open the hip. Again, work on pressing your chest back to the right thigh. Nice long side body. And then step your left foot behind the left wrist. Twist the left arm to the sky. Nice long side. Breathe. Good. Breathing here. Good. Take your left hand back down. And come up into your high crescent lunge. Stay on the ball of the right foot. Left knee is over the ankle. Draw the lower belly to the spine. And get long through your spine. Good. And drop your right knee to the floor. You can get a deeper lunge here. Drive the right hip forward. Good. Breathing all the way down to the abdomen. Bring your hands to your heart and let's twist other side. Right elbow to the outer left thigh. Option of staying here. If you'd like, you can straighten the right leg. And then focus on your breath. Focus your eyes on one point that's not moving, ideally. Good. Drop the right knee back down. Inhale, reach the arms to the sky. And exhale, hands to the front, step back, plank pose, shift forward, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog or low cobra. And then back to your down dog, lift the hips. And walk the hands back to the feet. Good, hang in your forward fold, option, step on your hands, bring the toes to the wrists. And then use your bicep muscles to pull your chest to the thigh. Relax the head. Nice and heavy. And release the hands. Walk it back forward into your down dog. And bend the knees. Step the feet into your malasana or hop. Bring your hands to your heart. Good. And take your left hand, grab your right ankle, and we're going to twist. Reach your right arm to the sky. Big, long twist. Reaching high, opening through the shoulder. If you'd like, take that right arm over the ear for a little added twist. And then other side, right hand, grab your left ankle, twist the left arm to the sky, and take your left arm over the ear. Mm -hmm. And breathe, same thing, if you want, reach over the ear, nice stretch to the left side, ribs, side body, intercostal muscles. Bring your hands to the floor, you can step or float back to chaturanga, inhale, up dog. And then back to your down dog. Good. Breathe in your down dog. Go ahead and drop your knees down. Sit back, child's pose. Hips to heels. 
reach your arms out nice and long and then breathe all the way down into your lungs into the belly couple deep breaths here to finish off in your child's pose breathe relax the forehead to the floor and staying in child's pose taking a nice deep breath begin to come up Bring your hands to your heart in silence, and namaste. Great practice.